Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out how to create this abstract form. I just discovered this a couple of seconds ago because I was doing something else. And eventually, I got this uh, from some experiments. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First step, make sure that you're on the stroke. Right now, I'm, I'm on the fill. I'm going to swap it. So it's going to be on the stroke. Make sure that you don't have anything on the fill. Click on the fill, click on the none and click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top long click here and select the ellipse tool press and hold shift plus alt create a circle i'm gonna increase the stroke actually i'm gonna go to the stroke menu i'm gonna increase the stroke thickness something like 10. i'm gonna change the stroke profile to the first width profile number one and from here i'm gonna activate the dashed line this is gonna be on number one and i'm gonna increase this some around 20, 25, something like that. Make sure that the cap is on round cap. So as you can see in the latest generation of Adobe Illustrator, this is a bug because normally this, now I'm gonna increase the gap again. It should go somewhere, some, something like this, you know? But if I change the settings, nothing, nothing gonna happen. So if you have an older generation of uh, Adobe Illustrator, then it's gonna work now for me uh it also worked out i don't know how it worked out but accidentally i it worked only once this is gonna be really weird i also re researched this problem on the adobe page um, more people have this problem and nobody knows the you know the issue so i did it once this is how it came out so this is the results you need so the dash line needs to be on zero and this one some around 16. I also gonna decrease the width, some around six. From here, go to the, what is this? Transform and make sure to check the st skill stroke and effect. Press Control C and then Control F or go to the edit and click on paste in front. I'm gonna press and hold shift, scale this down some around here. I'm gonna select both of these, gonna go to the object, blend and make. Okay. So this is gonna look something like this. I also gonna double click on the blend option and select specify steps to increase the number a little to 11, click okay. I'm gonna press control C and control F again. And I'm gonna press and hold shift and scale this down and press and hold shift and rotate it in the opposite direction. I'm gonna position this perfectly, okay? So it's gonna look something like this right now. Okay, I'm gonna select both, gonna go to the blend and I'm gonna type in somewhere around 200 and click OK. And basically, this is how the results would look if the stroke gaps would work. But unfortunately, I don't know what is going on. It's not working properly. And I don't know if uh, the stroke is going to work for you, but I know in the older generations, this wasn't an issue. And now it has this weird bug going on. And yeah, so far, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.